hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i decided i'm gonna start doing like plant videos because i've actually like grown a large selection i think i have like 70 plants now and today i'm gonna be driving over to big box stores like walmart lowe's and home depot um and i'm going to just be checking out those stores and see if i could find anything cool or how people say rare um plants and show you guys like what they have in my state which is Illinois um, I live kind of like 30 minutes from Chicago so if you're interested in watching something like that stay tuned just dropped the kids off at school I have to drop off a package at the post office I have about two hours to spare so hopefully we can get through all three of those stores in those two hours if not it's okay I'll probably just do it another day and kind of add it into this video okay so I just dropped off my package and I went to go pick up um, tape. I could tape it up because I didn't have any tape at home. And like an hour passed by. I don't even know where the time went. But anyways, I just made it to the first store. It's Home Depot. It's the closest one to my house, like 10 minutes away. And I'm so nervous because I haven't ever filmed like outside of my house um, at an actual like store. And I'm like freaking out because... I don't know I'm, I'm just nervous I like don't know what I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go in there and like not talk but um there's so many people here today you think like on a Monday people are like at work and stuff literally the whole parking lot is like packed I had to park all the way in the back and I'm just like sitting here sorry I'm like out of breath I've been running and it's so windy outside it almost blew away um but um yeah I'm just like super nervous to go inside and film if there's people in the plant section I'm just gonna probably do a voiceover because I don't know I'm scared to like talk in front of people and like film and like they're gonna think I'm like weird or something I don't know how do you guys do it <laughs> I'm like freaking out okay I'm gonna do this guys let's go into the Home Depot and see what they got okay so I just got inside and they have this whole little section over here and then they also have like more over there in the garden section so here they just have some succulents. These are super cute. Like a whole little dish of these cute little succulents. I like that. And they are $9.98, so that's not bad at all. They got a whole bunch. Those are kind of cute. But I kill succulents, so. And then they got some string of hearts here. $14.98. These are some type of allocation. I'm not like super good on the names. Um, they got a Palathea here. These are super cute. They need like bright direct light. Some more Calatheas. I forgot what this was called. A Birkin. They have like a little mini fiddle leaf. Some more um, string of hearts. They got Syngonium over here. Let's check the other side. Oh, this is cute. I have a little one like this. It's called an elephant bush plant. So I'm kind of excited for mine to grow. And they got a string of turtles here, kind of looking a little sad. They got some ZZ plants. I got a raven one at home. It's like the black one. What is this? It's kind of cool. Some kind of, some kind of succulent. I don't know what these are. Oh my god. Poor little babies. Oh my gosh, you're all dead. Let's see, they got some spider plants over here. Money tree plants. And there were some workers here and I had to like stop filming because I got scared. They have some dead, I think this is like a fern. This is tree. I always forget how to say this name. Something with a T. You, know, you guys know what I mean. Got some spider plants here. This is a baby rubber plant. This is so cute. What is this? It kind of looks cute. Oh, and they have like bigger, bigger ones here. These are so cute. What are they? $22 for like the big, big dish. There's like people over there, so I'm hiding. Um, 
Oh, this is cute. What is this? Oh, this is another elephant bush. It was like coming down to the side, so I didn't know what it was. Some potons. What are they called? Potons. I always kill these. They're so pretty, though. more succulents here it's like cute little cactus i kind of like that oh my gosh i don't know what this is this looks terrible um some succulents over here that are dead they got some aloe over here oh, those are cute i like all these cactuses i'm gonna try these dollars it's not bad i feel like that's such a good price um i forgot what this was called it's like the wandering plant i don't know how to pronounce it something with a t got some more aloes over here spider plants pretty much kind of the same stuff scattered everywhere this looks like cabbage that's so funny Got some more cactuses and stuff over here. Let's go to this area. So there's buildings down This is like the big garden center area. There's pretty much like a lot. So let's go here. They got some mini trees. Some really big calatheas over here. These are really cute. I love the purple. My friend actually bought one of these and she said she bought it because she's seen the purple on the other side. I kind of want one, but like I have a Calathea already, a different kind, and it's dying. There's some, I think these are some type of palm trees. Some big snake plants over here. They're um, 20. These are a type of alopecia. They're really nice and big, so cute. Like, oh, look at this leaf, guys. That's freaking ginormous. I forgot what these are called. Some kind of tree. Here's some little tiny succulents. Oh, these are so cute. I'm guessing this was like for Valentine's Day. Here's some more palms, some fiddles, this is birds of paradise, I think. Some uh, different bacchias. This is kind of cute. I have one like this too, and it's like crisping like this. I think it's from like winter damage from the cold. These are, um, gosh, what is the name? Bromel bromelades or something like that. Let's look over here. Well, guys, look, this is a syngonium. I have one like this, but this one looks so pretty. It's like a lot brighter. I have some bamboos over here. Some, oh, these are so cute. I think this is a type of fern. whole bunch of little what are these called? I forgot. Oh, it says Callan Rose. I've never seen that before. I thought it was a little like violet. These are all really cute. Look at these. These are so cute. I love that. Okay, let's see. What do you have for the plant? Not for the flowers. Okay, these are fake. This is super cute. Like, just decorate my house with all these and then people went and see how many plants die at my house, right? Okay, what's this? It kind of looks cool. This is a Pele Baby Tears hanging basket. I forgot what these were called. They're like Nerf plants, I think. This is a baby rubber plant. Some spider hanging baskets, some more succulents. This is really cool. Some more succulents. Okay, let's go over here. Oh wait, this is kind of cool. I like that. Is that a human? They have some Brazil over here, Brazil philodendron. I don't know what these are called, but they look pretty. Some more Perkins. 
They have some Mikens over here. I think that's how you say it. Mikens? Mikens? Something like that. Philodendron Mikan. Not looking very nice. Maybe I can ask for a discount. And then they have these down here. And then the Mikens over here. We have some Syngonium over here. Some of like this baby rubber plant. I don't know what this is called. Let's see. This is kind of cool. Okay, let's check out the hanging baskets. Oh, my friend has one of these. I forgot what they were called. The waffle, the purple waffle. They got a heart leaf philodendron over here. Oh, this is a prayer plant. This is kind of really big. It's not looking very good though. They got nerve plant. Elephant ear. Some more. This is a like a variegated, I think, rubber plant. This is a lemon lime philodendron. I already have one. Another green leaf philodendron. Some nerve plants. Oh, some more baskets of this prayer plant. Still not looking so good. Some more lime, some more of these. Mm, that's about it. Nothing really special. So I just finished at Home Depot. I didn't really find anything that was like worth buying. Um, and then I got nervous like every time someone walked by. So um, there was some Mikans. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Mikans philodendron. Um, I actually want like a full plant, but those looked really bad. Um, even like with a discount, I don't think I would have taken it home because it would just be like a rehab plant that I have to like give extra care to. Um, and then there was some Brazil philodendron. Um, I actually already bought one and they discounted me and I had to cut all the dead leaves off and there's like new growth. So I'm excited about that. I think I got it for like $12. It was like $14 and I got like, I don't remember how much percent. Um, but I paid around like $12. So that was like a good price. Um, and then, yeah, so I would have grabbed the Mikans like I really wanted to. Um, but it, I feel like I've seen better ones at local nurseries around me. So I'm just going to wait to grab those instead. Um, so now I'm going to shoot over to either Walmart or Lowe's, like whichever one I see first. I can't remember which one goes first, but they're both like kind of like on the, on the same street. So I just pulled up to Walmart, our second store we're checking out today, and I actually got lucky like a week ago. I found some Hoyas, I think it's called like a Crimson Queen Hoya, and it's like super cute. I bought two baskets, I gave one to my mom, and people are selling it on Etsy as like a rare plant for like $50 or something, and I got them for like, I think $14 each. So that was like a really good steal. Um, I'm gonna try to put the picture in here and show you guys what it looks like. I have it hanging on my porch um, window. Right now in my house, it's like literally like craziness. Like I don't have any shelvings up for plants. Um, I have like a rod on my bay window that's at its capacity. It's literally gonna fall any day now knock on wood I don't have any wood in here um but like it's just not that good so I'm trying to get like more shelvings up on my walls which are bare and I'm gonna try to put in like a little clip right here so you guys could see like 
what my plant situation is now. So this is like my bay window area here. And then I keep some of my plants on here, but my cats keep knocking them over. So um, I'm actually gonna put like a, I found like this, I don't know how many layers it was, maybe like five. It was like a ladder shelf. I'm gonna put right over here. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a stand here for my humidifier. And then I have like all my little plants that are growing here and then some that require uh, grow light in the winter time. Uh, that's my Monstera, just like a little plant. I have to repot it because most of the leaves are on one side and it's driving me nuts. And then I have this whole empty wall over here. I don't know if I'm going to put anything up there, um, just probably like pictures, picture frames. Here's my big monstera plant. I have to put aluminum on this one because my cats actually dig in this one. I don't know why. Look at that cute leaf. It's gonna open up any day. And then I have this little area here, which the cats knock over our stuff all the time. It's annoying me. Um, but over here on this wall, I'm gonna do some type of shelving i don't know if i want like hexagon shelves up here or just like regular shelves i don't know yet and then i'm using once again um this curtain rod here which is not really good um just temporarily and then i have this big plant over here i'm probably gonna sell it because it's driving me nuts and i have no space for it and then I have my little propagation station over here. And yeah, that's about it. So definitely need some shelving on my wall. This whole wall is empty. While I'm at Walmart, I'm gonna look for a plastic bin, uh, the shorter kind with um, a clear lid. I just looked in the Home Depot for a clear lid um, plastic container and they didn't have any so i have some at home but i think i bought them from target um and i'm not stopping at target today so hopefully i find it at one of these stores that we go to um and then i'm using that as like a propagation box because i bought some sphagnum moss and i'm gonna try to propagate some um nodes in there because i've been doing like water propagation and a lot of the plants like get get rotted or whatever or it just takes like really long and I've heard that people have been using sphagnum moss and like humidity and like the containers um, to propagate. So I'm kind of like really excited to do that. So yesterday I actually like couldn't, I couldn't wait and I cut up some nodes and put them into the sphagnum moss and like little cups um, because the sphagnum moss came in the mail and I was just sitting there and it like wanted to, you know, it wanted to go into the cups and help me. So I'm going to find the containers today. I have them next to my humidifier right now. So hopefully they're not like dying. Um, cause they need like high humidity and like, uh, heat lamps and stuff. And it's Chicago here and it's super freezing and it's winter here and it's cold. Well, today is crazy because it's like 50 degrees out, but yesterday was 30. So it's like super freaking windy today, but yeah, enough talking. Let's go check out Walmart and see what they got. So when you walk into Walmart, there's this tables that they have like kind of like close to the self-checkout. They had some Black Ravens Yeezys here. A whole bunch of little succulent plant. They had some ferns, some protons, some birkins. They had the vegetated. Um, baby rubber plants, snake plants. I seen this here last week. I think it's like a peperomia or something. And then they had some different buckets here. And then I found these uh, blue Baltic ones at a different Walmart a few weeks ago as well, so I grabbed one. And these look pretty cool, they have those festations in them. And they had some bamboos. And then when I was walking to the end of the garden center, I noticed these 
bin so I looked for a clear bin and I found this little one that would work for like a first time bin making for propagation and then right in front of the garden center they had these plants these look really cute and they all came in these big pots and it was around like 20 bucks or so And then you walk into the garden center and all the way in the back they have like this big section with plants. It's kind of like hidden. I don't even think you'd be able to find it if you didn't come back here just to look. So this is their plant section in the back. They have, oh, someone like set these aside. This is the global pothos. I don't know, I always call it pothos. People call it pothos, whatever, kill me. But um, this is a golden pothos. This is a fake plant. This is a polka dot begonia. This one's not looking the best. Here's some more ZZ plants. Here's a Hartley philodendron. It's not looking the best, but I think these little ones are like $4. So I feel like that might be worth it for somebody if they really want the plant. Some ivy, some nerve plants. Um, there's these cute little aluminum plants here. I have one of these I got from somebody. Some cute little ferns. This is a begonia. I think it's a Zuma. I actually got one of these last week for me and my friend. Some more aluminum plants over here. Oh, well, they got another one of these. They're super cute. Oh, my friend wants this. I think I might get this for her. Because she wanted one. Let me put this over here. And then, oh, I have one of these at home. I'm going to put this here too because I want to take a picture of her. I know she has one. Take a picture for her of what they have, and then look at this one. This one's cute. Let's take a darker one. Let me take a picture really fast. Yeah, she might want those. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. I have like the lighter colored ones, this one. These seem darker. I'm not sure if it's the same plant, but. So they have these global pathos everywhere. They have these like evergreen, Chinese evergreen, I think it's what it's called. I don't know what this is. They have these ruby rubber trees. I forgot what it was called. They have these cute little Venus fly traps. I bought one of these before and I killed it right away. This is cute. It's kind of succulent. They have a lot of these hanging baskets of golden pathos. Some more succulents. have one of these it's an ever like evergreen I think it's called like a Chinese evergreen or something like that this? kind of mixed pots for two okay look at this manjula pot though you guys that's huge I might get it definitely going home with me and look at this Hartley philodendron. That's huge. I already have one and it's not as big, but this one's really cute too. But I'm not gonna grab it because I already have one. I'm gonna take a picture for my friend. 
I'm so happy I found this. I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I cannot go home without this. This is a really good find. Really good. So yeah, Hartley Philodendron, this is a really nice basket. And then they got these palm, some type of palm tree. This Diffenbachia is really cute. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm not a plant expert. Come a little snake plants over here. And then this is a poor little alocasia that's dying. Sometimes they have plants like back over there hidden. Oh, they have something over there. Like I don't think we're allowed to walk in here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. some dead stuff. I think these are all going to go in the trash. Okay, let's go back. So I just left Walmart and they had a few really cool things. They had like the Swiss cheese plants, um, a whole bunch of global pothos, and then I found this huge basket of manjula pothos. It's so crazy because um they're kind of like in right now and i think like two weeks ago i found like little pots of them at walmart um over by my mom's house about 30 minutes from here and i paid ten dollars um for each little pot i bought like four of them so i spent forty dollars because i wanted to make this big um like a basket of them like a hanging basket of them and i literally just found this for fourteen dollars so you know that was a good find um I'll just end up either selling or giving away those smaller baskets probably if I don't feel like um, keeping them. The size of some of these leaves are so big so it's like a more mature plant and I'm just like super excited that I found this. This was definitely like one of those like steel moments and then I found the clear plastic bin for my propagations as you guys seen. Um, I have like 10 minutes before I have to go pick up my kids. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Lowe's. Um, I'm gonna try. I mean, it's four minutes away. I could like really fast like video something, but if I like see something that I want, it's probably gonna take a little longer. So I'm not sure if I should risk it or not. Um, I could always drop the kids off and then go, you know, with my husband. So we'll see, cause he already wants me home. He's already saying like, where are you? It's my day off. Um, but this is what I do when he's off. I go plant shopping. Yeah, so let's go to Lowe's. Hi guys, so it's a little dark. Um, I actually didn't end up going to Lowe's after, um, I think it was Walmart, um, because I only had 10 minutes to spare and I didn't want to like really rush there because Lowe's sometimes has like a large variety of, of stuff. Um, sorry, someone just like went to their car and I feel so awkward. Um, but yeah, so I just went um, to pick up the kids and then my in-laws decided that they were going to come by. So I kind of stayed and we um, made dinner and stuff. Um, so I'm out right now while husband takes care of the kids and then yeah so let's check out Lowe's because I was like I cannot like film this another day I'm just gonna make it all into one since it's like whatever I find today you know what I mean so yeah let's go into Lowe's and maybe there won't be so much people so I don't have to feel so awkward filming right okay let's check out what Lowe's has so I just got to Lowe's and off the bat I noticed these Schaffleras I kind of like really want one, but I know they require a lot of light, so I might not get it. They have some monsteras here, kind of looking sad. Some alocasias, some of these like palms. Highlight. Cane palm. I don't know if it's a palm. I really wanted one of these too. I don't know what it's called, but what does it say? It's a philodendron. I kind of like want it. 
highlight. Oh, I don't have any space for highlight plants, you guys. But these are really cute. And they have these here often. I'm not sure if it's like a more rare kind of plant. A lot of flowers. Some fiddle leaves. They got some um, ZZ plants here. Let's see what else they got. Kind of happy nobody's here. I don't feel awkward. They got some divinbakias over here. Ooh, they have these cute um, begonias here. This like oh, I had one of these before, but then ants got into it and they like infested it. They got a whole bunch of global puzzles here. A bunch of these, I forgot what they were called. A bunch of really big fiddles. Some more different magias. Oh my god, look at these huge ZZ plants. These are amazing. Some crotons, I think that's what they're called. Um, whoa, these are big. They're on this like really cute stand, I like that. Love it. So on the search, you guys, for that variegated ZZ. You never know what- Oh my god, that freaked me out. It's a leaf in here. I thought it was like a bug or something. Like those cicada bugs. Okay, let's check this out. We got some little ZZs here. These are just like some nerve plants, some like mini croutons, some ferns. I don't know what this is called. It's called a wa- oh yeah, those are waffle plants. A lot of golden pothos up here. Some cute little snake plants. I wonder if this is like those like Yesenia pothos. I don't know what it says. It just says golden. Some ZZ plants. I forgot what these are called. I'm seeing them a lot now. Poor little dead plants over here. Um, I don't know what they got over there. They got over here. Um, I don't think they got anything new. It's kind of looking sad over here. Some more ZZ plants. They have these. I think it's like a Chinese evergreen. Some polka dot begonias. Some more of these. These are like the bat wing ones. Um, this is cute. I think this is a type of Calasia. Kind of like want one, but then I don't. It's an Agla Noama. However you say it. I kind of like, really like it. It's kind of cute. Credit 30. Over here on the side, they had some bigger plants. They had some rubber trees, the burgundy ones, some monsteras, some palms, birds of paradise. They had some begonias over here, some polka dot, some syngoniums, a watermelon begonia. I think it's called a watermelon begonia. Had some snake plants. They had some more big monsteras over here and some fiddle fig trees. They had some more aloe over here, some more polka dot begonia, 
some global pathos, a little rubber tree. They had this cute, I think it's a Calathea. Had some more begonias here. Some little rubber plants, baby rubber plants. And then just a lot of little succulents, cactuses. I don't know what these ones are. This is a Diffenbachia, I think. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And then over here, they always have this like little section of like, I think it's like extra plants. So I just come over here and, and check this out. I noticed it last time I was here. So they have these little pretty orchids over here, some more of those croutons, some dead ones, some snake plants. And then at the bottom here, they had a whole bunch of those eglanoemas, whatever they're called. <laughs> and um, some of these little Chinese evergreens. That's about it. They didn't really have much more, so I'm probably just going to be heading out. So I'm finally home. I got all the kids to bed. So sorry if I'm whispering. Um, I don't want to wake them up. So yeah, the last store I went to was Lowe's. I went there a little later because it was impossible to squeeze three stores into two hours. Um, my little ones are only in preschool for two and a half hours. So it was like, I was like, I didn't want to rush at Lowe's. But honestly, it was like a bust because Lowe's had like nothing and they had like 40% like dead plants um I don't think I found anything in there that like was worth buying to be honest they had like really really pretty um zz plants that were like really big um but I already have a zz plant so it's like I wasn't gonna buy another plant even though I liked it a lot more than mine um Walmart was the best one because they had like so many good plants for good pricing and i found that manjula pathos which was amazing i'm so happy about it that thing has like huge leaves you can tell it's like a more mature plant i was really lucky to find it someone had it like all the way to the left side um near like the palms and stuff which people don't really look over there because i'm like i don't look at those really big plants i always go to like the smaller plant side so i'm really happy that i went over there and i saw that and then the other really nice one was that big um, Hartley philodendron, but I already have one that I bought from a local nursery. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy another one. Um, but then I sent a picture to my mom and she's like, isn't that the plant I like? Why didn't you get it for me? Um, but literally I'll like bring home plants for her and she'll be like, oh, why did you get those for me? Like, but I'm getting her into the plants. She's like sending me pictures now when she goes to like Whole Foods or like stores. It's so funny. Um, and she bought like a heat lamp before I even got one. So, you know, I'm turning her into the plant, plant world, like lover, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what stores you guys like to go to for your house plants. And um, yeah, just stay tuned for more plant videos. Thank you.